What is something people often criticize you for not liking? Daylight savings time. I'm a morning person and get my best workouts done while running outside first thing in the morning. I would switch to year-round standard time in a heartbeat. I don't care if it's dark early in the winter and I hate 9pm sunsets in the summer when I'm trying to get to bed early for a long run the next day. I find it kind of insane how many people would switch to year-round DST with all the health drawbacks just to have a little light on their commute home and how critical they are of even the suggestion that standard time is better for most people in the long run. As laid from Reddit based off a few comments I made in December. Me not liking yogurt got me downvoted to oblivion. Me giving an opinion on the Ukraine-Russian war. TBH it was one of those baiting posts and I fell for it. So many pro-Russia trolls. Weed. I talked about it before, but to summarize weed does nothing positive for me no matter the strand. I was told that weed would help my anxiety. It didn't. It made me paranoid instead. Now. I have nothing against weed. I'm pro-legalized marijuana. It just does nothing for me personally. So many things. I think lately the most obvious is superhero stuff. I'm a big nerd who plays TTRPG, video games, studied science and all, and everyone expects me to love Marvel or DC stuff. But most of it is boring to me. Most of my peer are annoyed by that. Back at the big hype of the MCU, they would talk about Avenger stuff and the difference with the comics and all and when they turned to me for opinion I'd just say to no, don't enjoy the stuff, I don't like it. I got so many people tell me I was wrong for not liking it. People give me a hard time for not drinking coffee. When people hear I don't like coffee I get a bunch of follow-up questions, like are you Mormon? WTF? No I just don't like coffee. Then they want to find the specific type of coffee I like. Oh you'll love this coffee. No. I won't. I don't like the taste of coffee. I can drink sugary bullshit coffee. Like milk and a bunch of sugar lattes or cortados. But the healthiest coffee is just black coffee and overall the taste of coffee is not for me. I get a lot of shit for shitting on Lee Douche and FMAB. They just aren't good I'd what to tell you Macron so Macron. Cats. I'm too clumsy to be able to have tiny animals around my feet. That's why I usually have large dogs. Oh and legal pot. Me and my children were treated to a living room of pot smoke on Christmas morning. From the floor above us. In a non-smoking apartment complex. And thanks to the absolutely moronic way that pot was legalized in my state nobody can do anything about it. Skiing. I've tried it and didn't like it at all. Snow tubing wasn't much better. Last time I went tubing, the tube flipped over at the bottom. I ended up with a broken hearing aid and a sore shoulder, worried I had a concussion. I decided that was it. Friends are planning a ski trip and asked if I was willing to give it another shot. I mentioned that I donated the ski pants I had to Goodwill. Privately. I told myself, hell no I hate everything about those ski snow tubing places. Fish as food, not as friends. I know there are loads of different types of fish and it can be cooked in all sorts of ways, but to me all seafood just tastes like fish. Also, I hate seeing seafood served with heads and tails still on, it gives me the heebie-jeebies and I can't stand watching people eat it. I had to switch chairs once because someone on a table opposite was eating prawns and it was putting me off my dinner. Religion. The nature of brainwashing means they are not equipped to tolerate criticism. The false authority is still absolutely in control of their personality. It takes a lot of effort to break through years or decades of abuse, because they have memorized comebacks and excuses to justify their condition. I actually like talking about religion, but the false authority, lies and threats are disgusting to me. I have a long list of foods which I don't like that hurts people. Watermelon, beer, pickles, corn on the cob. Refried beans, kimchi, honeydew, bell peppers, mustard, kiwi, uncooked tomatoes, and coconuts. I'm also lactose intolerant, so I tend to avoid foods that have a lot of cheese or other dairy like cream, which confuses some people. I love pizza and ice cream. I just don't like what it does to my body. As a Christian, I get very uncomfortable when people start evangelizing around me. I have my faith, have been baptized and confirmed. I have a personal relationship with God. People tell me I should be spreading the word. I think I should continue being kind to people and living my life in a good way without shoving my religion down other people's throats or using it as an excuse to be hateful to others. Star Wars, God, Harry Potter, and Lord of the Rings. I'm just not drawn to science fantasy, or whatever you would call God. Or any movie TV show set in a time era that I didn't grow up in. I just can't relate. On the other hand, 
I really love sci-fi and time travel i.e. back to the future. I think because I still find the main characters relatable since they don't talk like a Shakespeare character. A lot of people in my family give me shit for not liking a Mexican dish called chiloquiles, which are basically just fried tortilla bits marinated in salsa. The texture is disgusting but my family acts like it's just tortillas and salsa. Thankfully, they don't give me much shit for it as an adult but they'd act like I was being unreasonable about it as a kid. Today's modern music, garbage mumble rap. Whenever someone asks me what music I like I don't say everything, I just tell them I'm more into rock metal. Some pop now and then but I really despise most of today's hits. Also, I don't like Taylor Swift's music. I don't mind her as a person but I really don't like her music. You won't see me at one of her concerts. Lots of TV shows and movies that are popular. I have no interest in watching anything that's really dark and or heavy, or where the primary characters are lousy people who treat each other poorly all of the time. I hate constant lying, backstabbing, betrayal, etc., and I also have no interest in horror and gore, or brutal graphic violence, food tomatoes, pickles, and any salad dressing. Musicians A, too many to count. Maybe Taylor Swift is one of the most consistent? I also got a lot of shit for some reason because I despised that one lips on an angel song back in the day. Movies TV The Notebook and Family Guy. Games I'm really made about TFT. Watching sports. I love playing them. I am probably the most athletic person in my entire friends group. Can't stand watching sports and I don't get the fanaticism behind it all. I don't worship any players I just do my own thing. Ask me to play league basketball or hockey? In like Flynn. Ask me over to watch the game? Fuck no. Dogs. It's like I'm an entire psychopath for not enjoying an animal that has the energy of a coked up toddler and has no sense of personal space with an endlessly moist tongue whipping about, and that makes explosive noises repeatedly. It's cool if you like that, but why is it such a stretch that someone wouldn't cook cheese? I hate the smell, the taste and the texture. So no cheese on toast, no cheese with jacket potatoes, no cheeseburger and no pizza. People look at me like I'm an alien when they have a pizza party and work and I ask for one of the sides instead. Raw cheese is fine, I can eat that all day long. Rare steak. I physically can't eat rare steak texture, and yes, I've tried within the last year because a restaurant got my order wrong and I was part of a huge group and didn't want to make a fuss so I tried to eat it, and love a good well done steak, and this somehow means that I'm barely human. Seinfeld. It's not that I dislike it per se, but my first encounter was at a bad timing in my early teens thus I've always thought or more like associated it to being lame. It's a shame. I saw the purple chicken episode and realized that I would probably like it a lot if Pavlov's dog got lost. Potato. People refuse to believe I don't like it and love telling me I'm just not trying it right. I was forced to eat it through childhood. I've tried every form of potato over the years and whilst some are more tolerable none are something I chose. It is just bland and makes my mouth dry. Alcohol. I'm a 16 year old girl. My mom was an addict and I've swore off drugs, especially alcohol. Plus I absolutely hate the taste. But every time there's an opportunity my family tries to get me to drink. My mother got my older sisters all to let her give their babies a drink of their anime. I really want to like anime. The fan base seems to really have a passion for it. But no matter how many times I try to take people up on the you just need to try this one. I can't get into it. I moderately enjoyed Sword Art Online, but that's it and get a lot of flack for it. Left Wing Ideologies. And before you call me a bigot, no, I'm not a right-wing person. I'm a centrist. But man, when I tell a left-wing extremist that I don't agree with them, heads are rolling. And TBH, you can call me a hypocrite, but I don't believe in hundreds of genders. Regetin, I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to be written but, whatever. I just can't stand that type of music. I'm from Spain and is almost the only thing you can hear nowadays and I just don't like it. Also the lyrics is awful almost in every song I've heard. Guided meditation used to be a big one. I still don't like it, people just stopped pushing it when the trend died down. It's boring and strenuous and does nothing for me. I can't imagine a seaside or whatever else you come up with and trying harder won't change that. Sports. As a 6 tall, 225 pounds American male, I am expected to be all about sports. I can't stand them, firmly believe they are overrated and should be outlawed. Way too much time, energy and money spent on something that 99 of people who are into them do for free. Not anymore, but as a kid I was so grossed out by milk. 
The notion of drinking another animal's milk was so strange to me. Other kids thought I was weird but who's weird now? Soy milk, almond, oat, cashew, tons of alternatives, and I'm not even lactose intolerant technology. I like the old stuff, I hate using apps, I'm not getting any watches or wearables, I like my old school alarm clock, my 05 CRV with tape deck, old school stereo where I plug my phone in and make mixtapes, analog clock on the wall, gas stove, etc. Children. I don't want to have children, I don't want to adopt children, and people are always you'll change your mind when you're older you'll want one with your boyfriend or some other excuse to justify why I should be a mother. They don't understand drinking alcohol. People love to assume that I'm abstaining from drinking because I think I'm holier than thou art to be mature when in reality I just don't care for the taste of alcohol to me so it is tastes way better and I hate the feeling of being drunk. Football. Just not into it, and never been into it. Growing up in Oklahoma, football was life. Yet everyone I know went insane for Bama vs Michigan. In fact the only people at the party besides me who didn't care was my GFS family from Honduras. Sports games. I don't even like watching sports on the TV. I do play a sport myself and ride my bike to work. But I do not like those games. And yet whenever someone learns I'm the gamer they start asking me if I play FIFA or any other sports games. 